Hey, welcome back this morning. We are in the book of Philippians now, and we're in chapter 1, and we are going to now look at verse 6. This book of Philippians carries a number of, of rather famous or well-known Bible verses, and we've come already to one of them. And let's read it right here. Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Now, that's an interesting thing to think about. The one who began a good work in you, and of course, this is, this is God, isn't it? Nobody else begins a good work in you. You didn't begin a good work in you. The self-help section in the Barnes & Noble bookstore didn't begin a, a, a good work in you. The Lord Jesus began a good work in you. And he says there's something here that we can be confident about. And what is that? Being confident of this very thing. There's some very particular thing we can be confident about. What is it? Being confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you. So this is a personal God. He's a personal being. He, the he, that person. He has begun. He's started something. He's been making some change happen for us. He who has begun, and it's not a neutral thing. It's not like a little bit good and a little bit bad, a little bit yin, a little bit yang, a little bit black, a little bit white. He has begun a good work in you. He started it. He began it. It's not neutral. It's good. Where is the location? It is in you, okay? We can be confident that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. So what's the day of Jesus Christ? We're going to find, if we had plowed through and made a study of that phrase, the day of Jesus Christ is, is pretty much understood to be a day of judgment, okay? That's the day when Jesus comes and God judges all things by Jesus, his son, right? So until the day of judgment, he will complete it until that time. He's going to keep working. See, he's not done yet. You aren't what you began to be. You aren't what you're going to be when he's finished. You're on the pathway and God is working. By the way, some people want to take this verse and say, oh, well, you can never fall. Here, look at this verse. It, it promises that God's going to overrule your will and mine. He's just going to, he started it. You said yes at one point, and God says, well, I'm going to, I'm going to just have him all the way. I'm going to have my way all the way. That's not the way it works. God doesn't take away your free will. As a believer, as a son of Jesus, you, as a daughter of Jesus, he is giving you back your will. He is strengthening your will so that you can choose him. You can still choose to walk away and walk into the fire and do something destructive and ridiculous, but you don't want to do that, but you can choose it. So this is not a guarantee. This verse is not a guarantee that you're going to be saved. This is a guarantee that if you, if you hold on to Jesus' hand, he'll get you through. He will finish what he started. We just need to keep surrendering, keep surrendering, keep on surrendering to the Lord Jesus Christ, and he'll finish what he's begun. Oh, the promises that are here are so good. But this isn't a blank check promise. This is a promise. If you want to stay with me, I'm going to hold your hand. We are going through together. So I know that's hopefully for almost for, for almost everybody who's hearing this, I'm sure that's your purpose. That's my purpose as well. Let's let's pray and give thanks about this. Dear Father in heaven, you are so good. You you've unilaterally made this promise. You're willing to stand by us. You're willing to help us and transform us and help us to become more like Jesus. So thank you for that gift, Lord. Thank you for not taking away our free choice. You don't come to make us into robots. You come to make us into holy ones. Do that work in us. Bless and help each one, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayers. And thank you for blessing your children this day, the way that Paul's talking about in Philippians 1, verse 6. Lord, thank you for hearing this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So be blessed today. Be blessed today. Imagine that the God of heaven, he is working in you today.